Hey guys, welcome to my video of eating B, 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 and E on a low budget. Now, um, I know a lot of you out there, I'm going to have some disclaimers, and that is that, listen, this my way is not the only way. I just wanted to share with you a realistic end of 2023 um, version of B, 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 and E, obviously with today's inflation and numbers. We're all trying to figure out how can we do carnivore on a low budget. If you're like me and you're check the check, um, then this really helps. This is pretty much what I do now. Again, you can have many variances. You can add in things. It's all based on your budget and how much you eat. But this is pretty much going to be the average. Like I said, I'm a big boy. I like to eat my meat uh, and stuff. So this is going to be based on what I've learned so far. Okay, so let's just get started, shall we? So B, 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 and E, in case you aren't familiar with that in the carnivore world, it's beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. So a lot of people strive when they, especially like if they do the 90-day challenge, they want to get into that as, as, as pure as they can, but obviously on a low budget. So that's all we're going to talk about. We're not going to talk about any extras and all that other stuff. So let's just start with beef. Okay, so beef... Um, here's what I buy, and you see I buy the <clears throat> I buy the twenty uh, the seventy three twenty seven mix, and it is twenty seven dollars and seventy six cents at my local Walmart. Now I know you can shop around. I encourage people to shop around. We'll cover that later. Uh, but twenty seven seventy six, so I just kind of round up thirty bucks. Okay, and I'm going to be doing that twice a month. Okay. Uh, and I can explain how I do that. And um, there you go, 60 bucks. Okay, now let's just move on. Let's move on to butter. All right. Um, butter is going to be, uh, here, here's the deal. So if you want to eat grass-fed butter, and again, I told you, I'm not going to get on a lot of tangents. But if you want to eat grass-fed butter, you're talking 418 uh, for a two pack, that's a two pack, okay. And the Irish gold, that's pretty common. Uh, like the the Kelly or the Irish butter right there, that's pretty common in in a lot of places. But you're talking four eighteen for two sticks. Now, for the budget, if uh, I get seven eighty six for two sticks, okay, or I'm sorry, eight sticks of butter. That's a two pack. Of a box of butter so when i say box of butter i'm saying there's four sticks in that box okay so you get two boxes of butter full boxes you get eight sticks for only like eight bucks all right and that uh, i do twice a month so i'm really going to about 16 sticks of butter in a month and that's 20 bucks there you go all right now bacon all right, uh, we're going to move on to bacon. We're going to get through this, guys. I'm trying to keep it nice and short for you. Bacon. Uh, here we go. This is the great value bacon. This is the generic bacon at Walmart. Uh, $4.48. Um, and or I wanted to show you something else. Here's an alternative I found um, that also it has zero sugar as well. Uh, right here. Uh, 422 and I, I, I just saw this when I was actually doing this video when I was making this video and I so bacon I do about two packages a week okay I usually cook it all up like two packages I'll do it in two batches and I'll put it all in a Tupperware container I usually go through that in about a week um, so I'm spending roughly around $40 um, for uh, a month for bacon all right now, um, eggs. All right, here we go. So eggs, boom, look at that. So you can get 60 eggs uh, at Walmart for $9.84. Now, again, I'm not including tax. Honestly, I know like some things don't have tax. I just assume everything has tax. I don't, I just round up everything pretty much. But so the 60 eggs, I usually eat four, sometimes three, but I average four a day. So you figure... Um, you multiply that by two, you're going to have uh, 120 eggs. You'll be able to pretty much do four eggs a day. Uh, so for me, that works out. 
and that is so you figure that's 20 bucks in your budget so there you go now let's put it all together shall we beef butter bacon eggs grand total $140 now a couple of real quick little last minute things because I want to keep this video quick um, one is look if you don't have the 7327 you may have to go to the 8020 uh, ground chuck and that's usually 35 I don't know the change I can't remember but that's like about you might as well just say 36 bucks so of course your budget may change just a little bit but you can still do the 8020 if you can't find the 7327 in fact Currently, as of making this video, I have 8020 in the fridge because they didn't have the 7327 in stock when I happened to go there the one time. Now they have it back in stock. <laughs> so um, the butter, again, um, you know, if you look at the ingredients on the generic butter, you'll see basic ingredients. So really happy with that. You don't have to worry so much about grass fed and all that stuff right now. Hey, it's budget. Uh, bacon again if you find better deals then you know and you find some great taste but bacon seems to be pretty consistent at about five bucks a package and even though that one I showed you was like 422 I mean uh, again you never know so eggs same thing I know they say what pasture raised and all that stuff again this is it this isn't covering that spectrum you can go beyond that spectrum it's up to you now, if you want to throw in a few bucks for like some Himalayan pink salt, because if you're trying to be somewhat pure to the B, 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 and E, you're going to want salt. So Himalayan pink salt, I didn't take a photo and I didn't think about it until I was actually making this video. But the Himalayan pink salt, you know, it's going to be three or four bucks. So you can just throw that in there. Okay, quick side note uh, or quick advice is, hey guys, listen, I chose Walmart as, a, I purposely chose Walmart because of the prices and the availability of a lot of Walmarts in your area. Now, of course, I encourage you, you should go around and you should shop around to your local supermarkets because that's where I normally shop actually is, is one of my local food chains. But um, sometimes with the carnivore diet, I go to there. But some of your local uh, supermarkets will have specials on meat so you want to check that and do your price per pound i found some 7327 uh when i first started carnivore three pound chub for like 10 bucks so that helped me out quite a bit um you know when i couldn't get 7327 and then of course when that sale ended i had to go to walmart and get the um the uh 80 20 that i was talking about so I just wanted to throw that in there, guys. Uh, that's why I chose Walmart. That's why but I still encourage that you shop around anytime you can find better deals. But I just wanted to do this again for the average person out there that maybe can't get around and do a lot of extra research and shopping and all that. And you just have your Walmart or your local grocery store. So anyways, so I would safely say that your range is going to be 140 to 160 bucks per person uh, per BBB and E eater in your house. 160, 140 to 160 bucks per person a month. I think that's a good safe number unless you live in some really high cost of living states such as California, maybe even some of the New England areas and things like that. If you're living in an area that's high, high cost of living, but from what I see from a lot of other people throughout, like sprinkled throughout the country, that seems to be about the right average. So 140, 160 bucks. Now, another one other caveat to think about is that you may eat more. So I was going to tell you, um, how do I stretch out uh, that 20 pounds of beef for 30 days? Well, I personally, I started out like I think the first day, day one, I think I ate like I tried to eat a full pound and I just couldn't do it. Uh, or I think I may have gotten close, but I've learned that about three quarters of a pound. So what I'll, I'll eat is about three quarters of a pound, roughly three quarters of a pound and uh, four eggs and two slices of bacon and at least two or three tablespoons of butter. And sometimes it'll be like when I cook some things, I'll add in there or what, however I do it, it usually ends up two or three tablespoons of butter. 
that's what I generally have come to realize what I eat. You may eat a pound a day, and if you're eating a pound a day, your budget may go up a little bit. That's why I'm saying. But if you do three quarters of a pound, you typically will get like 13 point something like chunks because I get them in that big 10 pound chub like I showed you. So you can cut it down to that three quarters and you get about 13 and some leftovers. So you might as well just say pretty much 13 or maybe you stretch it into 14. But um, but that's almost two weeks, obviously. So that's why I typically will get uh, that much. And you may have days where you, ba you may barely use meat. You might just put it on an omelet. You may not eat a lot of meat. You might eat, you know, the an omelet, a four egg omelet with some bacon and sprinkle some meat on there. Whatever you decide, um, it's going to fluctuate. There are some days you may not be as hungry. So all in all, I think this is a good, safe average. And I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Uh, if it helped you, please, please click like it. It really helps because, you know, all the subscribers I get, all the comments, all the feedback, um, it's it's just such a great community. So if you're new and you're and you're trying to figure out how to get into this, then come on. I should I just showed you how to do it. Low budget. Come on into the community. Come in. Join join my uh, join my channel and join my people, and we'll we'll help you out along the way uh, because they're helping me out. <laughs> so, all right, guys. We'll see you in the next video.